Chappy Deep with people, welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys had a fabulous week. Apologies, I still got glued on glue on my nails and fingers. <laughs> Today, I'm going to share and showcase to you guys how to make four leather journal cover. Okay, this is technique, it's quite easy. You just need two ingredients. Uh, you just need some glycerin and some paper. Actually, three, some inks. <laughs> and there you go. As you can see, this is slightly darker. This is slightly lighter, okay? These are journals cover. So you're still making these journals. I will put the link at the end of this video as well. So you guys go and check it out. So fun, it's so easy to make. Keep watching guys, and I will see you very soon. Okay, so guys, what you need, let me show you before I actually show you what you need. Um, I made this a while ago, so this is my notebook. Um, so it was from um, Paper Chase, and I don't know if you can see it. I covered it with um, another four leather I've done a while ago. So it looks like it's leather, but it's not. Okay, so and when you touch it, because of the glycerin, it's very, very soft. So it feels like leather, but it's not, of course, it's paper. So this is very vegan friendly as well for all our vegan friends in the community. So because when I rustle the paper, it's going to make a very uh, amplified noise <laughs> on camera. So I've got here four of my, um, four of my uh, uh, inks. I choose this color because they are kind of like a color of leather. So you've got some orange, some black, some yellow, and some espresso. So I'm simply going to um, crush all the paper in my hands, open it up, and then with the ink pad, I'm just going to go all on top of it. Let me show you, but let me put some music on the background. Okay, so we got the two sheets. They all, all it already look look a bit like leather. So now we're going to use some um, glycerin. Now this is vegetable glycerin. I've got this from the pharmacy, and what the glycerin does is so the glycerin has a um, moisturizing uh, property. So what the glycerin will do will give this paper a softness texture because the paper will absorb the glycerin and it will stay in the paper forever okay it will dry of course it won't be as wet but it will make the paper very very soft and it gives that texture of leather so when you touch it so if, if i can put yeah so if i do this you can see that it's a bit shiny you just it just feels like leather so if you listen so versus so that's paper that's leather so can you see you've got that texture i hope it's clear what i'm trying to say so again for the same reason if i put the glycerin on the paper on camera it will be very loud so i will put more glycerin on this one here they don't have to be soaking in glycerin they still need to be firm on your touch and then they're going to go straight outside because it's really nice and warm today so they're going to dry okay and then um once the once completely dry i'll be right back there it is so this is one sheet and this is the second one so one is slightly darker than the second one it all depends guys how you put um the color and this kind of like the result that you want to achieve as well so what we're gonna do guys i'm going to oh and i forgot to mention this is the amazon well i i think other companies do that too but it's that brown um tissue paper then it's not tissue it's a bit thicker than a tissue paper that um one of my amazon order was wrapping and it's quite a thicker thicker brown tissue paper 
but you can use any sort of brown paper uh, that you have at home. You can either use cardstock uh, because the glycerin will make it even more softer. Okay, so what am I going to do, guys? I'm going to do off camera. I will um, cover cover the cover. <laughs> I will glue the leather, the foot leather into the cover. And then inside we're going to do, I will probably do like that. And then we're going to do something um, a bit different. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so let me show you. It's all done. I have done, you can probably see it if I do this, yes. I put a coat of Mod Podge on both of them and I let it dry completely. So this is my, these are my two journals. So this is one and inside I put, um, this is um, Bright Bloom, my digital papers as well. Everything I mentioned I will list it down below in case you guys want to check it out. So, and that's the back. Do they not look like faux leather? I think it does. And it is so hard to describe, but the texture is like leather, but of course it's not leather. And this is my second one. And on here, I have put my um, opulent ephemera. That's my one of my very popular um, very popular bestseller digital paper so I put that there and these on the back okay and these I think I need to put a little bit of glue there yeah, I'll do that in a minute and that's the back so they're both very similar this is slightly darker because I went I went I pressed quite a lot to get that um, aged effect and as you can see, they're a bit shiny because of Mod Podge. At the Mod Podge, it will help um, to make the journal last a bit longer because at the end of the day, it's paper. So, I don't know, if you put it on your purse or in your handbag or if you leave it on the desk or if you use it quite a lot, it tend to, it, it will damage it, of course, because it's only paper at the end of the day. If you put a coat on Mod Podge, that will help you, you know, to make the journal last a bit longer. Okay, I'm going to do a um, couple of, more videos in the next couple of weeks um probably not a lot i will probably do one video when we finish decorating this and i'll do another video when we decorate this and then they will be available uh, on my website to purchase okay right guys um i will put a video when i did uh foot leather i will put at the end of this one and i'll show you how to make strips as well because it will be quite nice to do strips and then you just um, kind of like decoupage it, just put it all together. Okay, just uh, another option. I will put the video at the end of this one. So if you guys want to check it out. Guys, big thumbs up if you like this video. And um, yeah, thank you so much, guys. For your love and support means that work to me. I will see you Wednesday for a VIP, um, VIP video. And until then, stay safe and well. Mwah. Bye.